Howdy. I'm Cyberact with all on this crafted and today we're gonna be talking about Cyberox, me and the future of the channel. So um uh some of you may have seen that I called out Mojang's team to be replaced. Um it's become apparent over the last many months and last year or two that the the failures and the issues and um the non-stop problems how they handled hcf you know an honorable group of people when they make a mistake they show up to clean up their mistake you know if i come to your house and we have a party and we trash the place i show up the next day and i help you clean it up i don't just disappear so when hcf ended um mojang absent they didn't write any docs to help us out. They didn't show up in the forms to help the the hundreds, if not thousands, of worlds that they crashed. Um, not once. Not one staff showed up to help their customers. They put all of that on the community and us. Um, and it it's become apparent that they're using us for free labor instead of hiring the correct people and the right amount of people and funding this project properly and getting the docs created they're relying on people like me who've made all these guides that allow people to work around their failures so a good example is animated uh, attachables um, they failed to provide those features to work properly year after year after year. I created a solution around it. And so now instead of people commenting and requesting those things from Mojang, they instead just use my guide and then Mojang never hears about it. And so I've in essence deflected and insulated Mojang from, um, you know, 130,000 views or complaints. Um, that things aren't working. So going forward, I'm going to move all of my guides to membership. Um, in the last four years making these guides, you can see I release them quite, quite frequently. Uh, I've made $20 in tips. Um, I hoped originally the community would help support my efforts and time and they would see value in all of the guides and they would um, jump in and support you know we've had a patreon for like three years not a single sub we've had the channel open for quite a while not a single sub um so <clears throat> that tells me that the community doesn't value the guides on enough to support them mojang doesn't value this information enough to support it or add it to their uh, documents and have official stuff so going forward, I'm going to move everything that's guide-based to members only. Um, if you feel like the information is valuable, then please support me. I think it's $1.99. All the guides are in all of the plans. So, it, you know, um, if you feel like this information in my guide should be public information and should be accessible to everybody, then please contact Mojang and um, request that information from them in an official document and form or request they fix the bugs that this is working around. Um, I'm not sure my future going forward doing this. Um, I think people can see in my videos and over the last, you know, especially since the Q&A, I'm just depressed. Uh, Mojang's burned me out with their failures. They burned me out with their pivoting into more failures. Um, we can't even keep the wiki documents updated because they are pivoting into so many failure after failure after failure that we can't keep the documents up or keep my guides up because they keep pivoting into more failure. Um, so we get something like game test and then they pivot into something else. On the wiki, game test still says it's experimental. It, I think it's pretty evident that the community is burned out by Mojang and Mojang's lack of ability to hire proper staff and to get staff helping their customers. And it's not like Mojang's not profiting off of this. We're teaching the people that are going into marketplace and, and creating marketplace content. Mojang's making a massive amount of money off of those, off of us, off our education, off our docs, off of what we're doing, but they're not returning that to the community. 
They're just pocketing that and they're using us. So I refuse to do Mojang support for them anymore. Going forward, I, I'm not going to respond to any pings in any other forms except Bedrock HD, which is mine, my Discord. If you'd like help from me, um, there's a how to get help or a help channel in Bedrock HD. I'll be doing help there as much as I'm going to do help anymore. Um, there were some requests for uh, U Udemy um, training course. They don't allow free training courses either. So I'd have to charge, you know, a good amount of money for all the guides over there as well. Um, I think one ninety nine for all the guides is probably a lot cheaper than whatever they would make me do. Uh, but that's where I'm at. I'm sorry for those of you that are disappointed or you were just in the middle of the project and you just wanted to get your stuff done and build your dreams but i've been trying to build my dreams you know the movie trailer says anything you can imagine or anything you can dream you can build in here <clears throat> and i've been trying to do that for four plus years now and i don't feel like mojang's team is on my side helping me i i don't i feel like every step they're the ones making fun of me um, they're the ones cursing me. They're the ones um, not listening to the feedback. They're not in the Discord channels seeing people needing help and how many times they need help for the same things. How many times in one week can we get requests for help for animated uh, attachables? You know? And, and Mojang doesn't do anything. Those aren't even on the planned um, roadmaps for out two, three years. And then I look back at where we were two years ago. You know, it was two years ago, 2022, that I released a guide for uh, flowers coming to blocks. Um, Block Entity got the flower ability so we could have some flowers. You know, in two years, I can't do anything more with that block today than I could then. It's been two years since they released flowers to blocks and short of rotating the block I can't do anything with it I don't know how long it took to make this entire game bedrock um, but I'm pretty sure that they made the entire game in two to three years so in the time that they made the entire game in C++ this um, team hasn't even been able to improve blocks in two years. There's a critical breakdown and failure here. Um, I think a good majority of the community that's not in add-ons thinks that Mojang's lazy. Uh, and I've tried to be a good fanboy and I've tried to speak against that and say no they're working on these things and then we get a list of you know the q a and we actually go through what's being worked on and what's not being worked on and what progress we've actually had since the last q a and from the last releases and it's abysmal i you can compare it to um, a lot of other game studios and it's just abysmal even just stuff like documentation Stuff that's not, documentation is not waiting on um, something to be done and something to be done and a development problem. We got to solve this and solve that. Just simple documentation and examples. And then it sounds like that they're only providing samples for scripting API and TS when everybody else is doing JS. That's a whole nother huge breakdown that nobody's even talking about. The entire community is going to be responsible for doing all of the JS conversion from TS. Who, who's going to do that? Who has the, the experience and expertise to do that? And who's going to document it when the wiki's already completely outdated and struggling just to keep up with the basics? Well, it's not going to be me. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to work for Mojang free anymore. Um, if they want to support their community and they want to solve these problems, then they need to hire people to get into the forums and do it themselves. I'm sorry if that causes you an inconvenience. Um, it wasn't my intention to make this pivot, but because of the pivoting of Mojang and the lack of the management at Microsoft to replace these people, I, I just don't think there's another good solution. Um, I need to... 
not do their jobs for them. They need to do their jobs. I have 300 guides covering subjects and content that they refuse to document, make guides on, or clarify or fix the bugs related to it that it's you know deflecting off of. If we go back through those guides, very few of any of those have been solved in four years. So that's where I'm at. I'm sorry again. I This is not what I wanted to do. I love doing bedrock uh, game development. Honestly, I love helping you guys. Um, but I think it's been a, become an unacceptable uh, relationship. Um, we're doing all the work. Mojang gets paid all the money. They take the credit. And then they bash us when we want to use poly meshes or when we want to use HD or when we want features to work and bugs to func you know not to happen and crashes not to happen and realm not to cra crash constantly and then when you bring it up and you challenge them the you know community and toxic community the fanboys as well just like I've been pop up and defend them to the nth degree even beyond all of the issues even beyond the same people that can't keep the wiki updated because things are so poorly being run are the ones defending Mojang that they're not failing and they've given us so many great things. And if we just have more faith, well, two years of faith just from the last block updates and we haven't made any progress at all. HCF had a lot of progress in it and that was all dumped. And once again, I, I so you, you got rid of that, you put something else in, that's fine. My beef is how they handled it. They didn't have the documents ready for people to switch over. They didn't have the code ready for people to switch over. Most of the code still doesn't function today that you could switch over all the features from HCF. And the community, it was put on the community to make this information. And then Mojang didn't even show up in the Discord channels to help us. Mojang didn't even show up in the Discord channels to say, hey, we'll help these customers fix their add-ons that we were responsible for crashing. Instead, they left that all to the community to me to a few of you there's only like five people that helped you support the community anyways you know you go look at block bench discord and how many people are pleading for help over there bridge discord people are just piled up pleading for help people won't even go to bridge discord anymore to ask help because nobody gets help so we have three of our main discord channels are overloaded a majority of the people i started with that are professionals have left um, you know, if you go look at the top people that are, do we're doing bedrock dev and bedrock help have moved to other places. And it seems like Mojang doesn't care or is asking why is the top talent fleeing? Why are people like me that are putting in tens of thousands of hours into helping people feeling burned out and used and abused by Mojang? Why? Am I just a wuss? Am I just, am I lazy? I show up every day to the channels and help people. Mojang doesn't, ever. They just stay in feedback. So, I don't know. I've gone on way longer than I wanted to for this. So, that's where I'm at. I'm sorry if you have to be put out for $2 a month to get to the guides. Um, just know that every $4 that's put into... Helping Cyberax is a meal I get this month. So, you know, thanks for feeding Cyberax. Um, once again, uh, I'll be in the Bedrock HD for help as I can. I'm going to change my priorities and do um, some different things. And, uh, you know, try to get out of this hole Mojang's put us in.